Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel and welcome back to a brand new series that will be titled Green River. This is episode number one and while we're not planning to do any actual farm work today, uh, today is going to mainly be utilized as a tour of our operations. Not so much a map tour as it's going to really be a tour and a kind of a discussion regarding what we can expect to basically see throughout this series. Now, um, this map uh, was basically uh, is from NLD Farmers and Bart of NLD Farmers is the map author and so I'm very appreciative of the opportunity to get to play this map. This map is available on the Giants Mod Hub. Uh, there was actually an update made to it just a couple of days ago that are is not those changes are not incorporated into my map. Um, and the reason for that is because I have spent probably four, uh, probably three hours, uh, well maybe two hours in uh, Giants Editor uh, installing a couple of things, uh, mainly the water trough uh, filler uh, points and so I just basically didn't want to have to redo all of that so um, we're in our Toyota Hilux and I'm gonna give you first of all um, I'll give you a tour of the main farm now this is our farmhouse um, here and the only real complaint that I kinda have is that the entrance onto the highway onto the roads here is a bit bumpy uh, but hey considering that I live in uh, in Denver and in Colorado where we have some of the worst uh, streets and worst roads that there are then I'm quite um, quite used to that so this is what I'm considering to be sort of the main farmyard now uh, there is a little bit of a difference here in the sense that in this concept in this main farmyard we do not have a grain silo so we'll not we will not be dumping our grain here um, but at the same time uh, we will be utilizing this area uh, quite a bit I live right over there in the little farmhouse and we have quite a bit of our equipment here and we've got equipment stored in another location as well and I'll show you that here in just a moment so we are starting with animals uh, 100 of each animals that's sheep uh, pigs and cows and also you may notice up in the upper right hand corner we've got twenty five thousand dollars uh, in the bank we have no bank loans so thankfully everything that uh, we own uh, here that you'll be seeing over the course of the next few minutes is bought paid for owned uh, by us and we're more or less um, going to play this as if uh, we're returning from you know last year's fall harvest winter all that kind of stuff uh, we've called out our animals and and basically left ourselves with a hundred of each we do have chickens as well on the map um, and so just to kind of bring you up to speed also on the fields that we own we'll be kind of focused in this center area here I think there's about nine or ten fields one is grass this one up here is where we have quite a bit of industry placeables that we'll be working on our pigs are up here in this area another farm uh, location and where our silos are right over here by farm or by uh, field number 21 and uh, we also also have some contract jobs to mow uh, 21 and 22 that we'll we'll do later once the grass has obviously grown and um, and so yeah so this is going to be quite a different uh, kind of concept for me in the sense that we're going to be farming mainly uh, for supporting our animals instead of farming to basically sell our crops and everything but we are going to be farming some crops that we will obviously sell to the local uh, markets and everything as well um, just to, just to kind of point out a little bit of a, about of our equipment uh, and everything we are going to be using the corona uh, big M there so hopefully duck Zorley will um, not be too uh, disappointed with that I will try very 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 hard to take care of that piece of machinery for you Doug Zorley uh, appreciate that so uh, our other piece of workhorse kit is going to be this wonderful uh, Deutzfar uh, warrior uh, tractor uh, I absolutely love this this is a mod that was just released uh, about a week or so ago I think as well or maybe it's been a bit a bit longer but anyway I've had it for about a week or so and absolutely love it um, now this map is situated in the Netherlands and um, I've actually been wanting to play a Belgium type uh, situated map but I couldn't find one that I really liked or that was really good 
and so this is going to be a very very close uh, representation of Belgium and I'll just maybe I'll just pretend like this is Belgium so um, anyway uh, we've got our trusty Penta DB50 uh, tipper this is pretty much uh, something that you're gonna see on just about all of my maps now one thing I did uh, I have uh, stepped away from for this series is the telehandler the little um, I can't think of the the model or the name of it right now but it's the one that I almost always use I don't have that on this map uh, and I'm gonna try to avoid uh, playing with it uh, just to uh, basically make some changes we do have the uh, Amazon uh, condor that will be uh, uh, planting like our wheat and canola crops with and then we've got this guy here uh, I believe this is part of the of the pack, um, the horse pack, I believe. This is what we're going to use to plant sugar beets. We are going to be farming sugar beets um, big time uh, here on this map uh, to support our pig uh, food production. And of course, I've got the Kloss 950 here. This is probably, I think this is the most powerful uh, tractor that we have on the map. So it's hooked up to the plow. And uh, we've been doing a little bit of uh, farm work, but not much. Now, I will have a hired worker um, here uh, on the farm as as well or a couple of them kind of be using them but they're gonna to have to come out of that twenty five thousand dollar budget as well as um, all of the inf all the details the seeds the fertilizer and stuff like that now we will um, be working to get our industries up and going so that we've got some money coming in there um, and in addition we'll take a bank loan if we have to um, just to support everything that's going on we are going to be using a John Deere combine the combine is over at the other uh, facility right now and I'll take you over there momentarily so we've got our silage bunkers here which we don't plan to use um, at least not right now back into the farm there we've got the John Deere um, this is the one that doesn't have the shakes and everything so bad um, I believe this is the 7530 that's uh, it's pretty much this tractor has been on most all of my maps as well we've got it set up with the row crop tires for spraying uh, purposes and everything um, I'll just dodge to try to dodge the chickens here now one thing that we are having put into our facility and the plumber is going to show up tomorrow as we are having the uh, the water hydrants put in now he'll be here tomorrow at eight o'clock in the morning and he'll finish at about uh, four o'clock so looking quite forward to having that done um, because I honestly get tired of hauling water all over the place and so obviously I've done that just to bring our animals up to speed with regards to food and water I don't want to lose any animals if we can certainly avoid it but hopefully we won't have to do that in the coming days because if the plumber shows up on time and gets his work uh, completed then that will all be good so we do have 100 animals of each type um, 100 cows, 100 sheep, and 100 pigs. Uh, obviously the cows are going to produce milk, so that's going to be uh, going into the daily operating fund. The sheep produce wool, and we're already uh, fast uh, in the production of that. Been shearing some sheep and have one bundle there uh, ready to go. Um, we'll we'll sell wool later in the uh, in the spring or maybe early summer months. And um, but that's obviously how we're going to be supporting that. So we don't really have a plan to sell sheep or cows, but we will be selling our pigs um, once they produce enough pigs to make a trip to the uh, to the market. So we'll we'll figure out what our trailer is capable of holding and uh, make sure that once we hit that point, then we will carry our pigs or whatever the excess is above 100 and sell those. We do have a nice wash uh, bay facility here that's built into the map and so we should have no um, no reason to not have nice clean uh, vehicles. So we do have the frosé just to help with the manure uh, collection of the manure and everything and I've already pointed out the combine and let's go ahead and go around here and I will show you our production our pellet haul production facility we will be doing that on this map with at least straw and hay we've got our hay barn back over here with some uh, straw and hay left over from last year uh, we'll have to get busy with uh, producing obviously more baling more uh, straw and more hay in the coming weeks and everything as we play this we are playing nine day seasons um, so all that's pretty much the norm in here we've got our corona 
um, pellet producing baler, we've got our little JCB um, skid steer, and we have a larger John Deere um, uh, wheel loader. And what our plan is, is we'll dump in in mass production, we'll dump our pellets into these uh, bins here. We'll use the John Deere uh, wheel loader to move those over and dump those into the pellet uh, pressing uh, machine that will bag the pellets and that will auto stack and wrap and all that good stuff and we'll get we'll get the pellet haul and everything going once we have some grass that we can cut to turn into hay and that'll be fun and this is our main uh, hay field here uh, it kind of wraps around and goes around the other side over there so it's a little bigger than what you might uh, what you might be thinking that it is all right, so let's go ahead and uh, head over and I'll show you the logging operations. Now we are going to do a little bit of forestry, not a whole lot, but you know, forestry is a good way to make some money and just, I've wanted to, you know, while I like to play, I like to start up the maps and everything playing pretty much all of the equipment and everything that we're going to need. And I really do believe we have everything that we're going to need uh, for this series. I've been cutting across the neighbor's uh, field there, heading to the store a couple of times, getting equipment and everything set up. And I've got to say that this is probably the map that I have spent the most time um, in getting everything set up. And I think you'll see that once we get over to the to the other production facility location. Uh, here is our store. Uh, we've been making a lot of trips to and from uh, the store and everything. So if we do need to buy something, obviously we'll have to consider the bank loan and how much cash we have on hand and everything uh, to do that and, uh, and use caution there. Um, we'll head on up here to the uh, wood uh, forestry operation that we're going to be working in. Uh, and again, it's sort of the concept is to just um, help fund and keep things going and help us build a bit of a nest egg to uh, be able to continue to do whatever we need to do with the farms and with the animals and everything. So we've got our trusty scorpion king back there and we've got a, uh, a log trailer and um, so we'll be getting into this um, as time permits and I think initially there probably won't be a whole lot of farming type um, work that I will be doing on camera. A lot of that's going to be done by hired workers. So the plowing, the cultivating, the seeding uh, fields and everything, all that's pretty much going to be done by others. I will probably do at least one field, seed one field or whatever, just for the sake of, of seeing that I did it. And of course, we've got uh, quite a bit of forestry operations and everything right here. I'll bring up the the large map and you can kind of see where where we are and so we'll we'll journey up there at a later time and take a look at, um, at what all the offerings are up there how many trees and everything is up there and and uh, we'll do all that at a later time all right so let's head over and I'll show you the other farm area uh, the other uh, sort of the other farm location where our grain silos are located we also have a uh, cow uh, feed mixing station over there that was part of the map and um, we also have equipment stored over there now kind of what we've done is the farm location that I just gave you a tour of that I'm considering kind of the main area that's your spawn point and everything I've put over there the equipment that we're going to kind of need initially so that's where our plow our cultivator our cedars are located and everything we've got fertil fertilizer um, uh, buy points and everything there seed points now there's a few things there's a few little anomalies like the stop sign that seems to be missed there uh, I think actually that sign just to the left of us I think I actually knocked that one down I can't remember but that stop sign that's under that curb there that's just something that I guess um, NLD farmers missed um, uh, is it yeah N NLD farmers missed when they uh, did their their last walkthrough and everything but this area over here is sort of our secondary farm location uh, so I've got some equipment that's over here that we won't necessarily need uh, until we get into the harvest so like here is our uh, mixing station our lights automatically come on it looks like at uh, 3.30 in the afternoon that's interesting or maybe it's going to start raining here uh, in a minute but anyway we've got our mixing station there so it is running and it is producing total mix rations 
Um, we have, uh, yes, as I said, we're going to do some sugar beet harvesting and we are going to use the Ropa uh, DLC for that. We've got our John Deere combine in there. We've got our rake. We've got our Corone baler with the uh, three, three bell stacker. And for whatever reason, that is not how I parked it, ladies and gentlemen. So it must have the heebie-jeebies or something and it must have uh, uh, waddled its way over there in that in that configuration which is uh, a bit uh, a bit odd um, I don't think I have anything in these uh, in these buildings here but you know it's just more storage space should we need it and uh, we've got a space to basically work on our on our vehicles and everything again should we need to, to do that so this is uh, kind of a nice area and and I guess the the benefit uh, I forgot to put our tether away over there I'll have to I'll have to do that. That's my bad. I left that out. But I guess the 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 unique thing about having this sort of dual um, farm yard space is that you know if you start getting a little bit of lag from having too much equipment on your map, um, you know this is a pretty good concept for that because it will it will allow you to park things differently. Here's our grain silo. So this is where we're going to be dumping our grain from our harvest and storing them there. Uh, we do have some left over from the previous year. We've got about 50,000 liters of wheat and about 50,000 liters of sugar beets and those will be used for the uh, for the pig food mixing station. Um, I've got the uh, that's a mod the Mercedes truck there. I was looking for something that was very similar to the Volvo that I use on ETS2 and that's about as close as I could get and it's pulling uh, a large Flegel uh, trailer there as you can see. So that's really that's really the secondary yard and again uh, the way I sort of plan on uh, playing or utilizing this yard is once we get the seating and everything done we will most likely um, go ahead and move all of that equipment uh, over here to the secondary yard and then move all the harvest stuff over to the main over to the main location so that way you know we kind of have things separated because hey once you once you get everything seeded and fertilized and everything you don't need that equipment until uh, it comes back around to the next time that you need it. So here is our pig, uh, our pig facility right here. Uh, we do have these secure gates where we have uh, automatic, um, um, automatic uh, openers in our in our cab of our truck and everything. We've got a few extra pieces of equipment over here that's kind of staged that we will utilize um, for this operation. I've got a small uh, little New Holland tractor there and uh, our animal trailer is located here because we will be selling all of our pigs that are produced over 100 and then we've obviously got a water tanker here as well now the thing about the water tanker is is while we're having the plumber install the um, the water trough for the for the pigs water we don't have that concept available for our pig food mixing station so this is a placeable because uh, when the map first came out it had a pig food mixing station on it uh, it was kind of situated a little bit differently um, but then he removed it for whatever reason so I went ahead and plopped a placeable down and like with all of my mods if you uh, see a mod that you would like to use on your virtual farm uh, you can find that on my mod spreadsheet all right we'll get back in the our Toyota Hilux and uh, head out of here. Now, of course, um, oops, try not to let that hit us there. Um, I am trying to keep equipment and everything. The reason why I'm in the Toyota Hilux and not our Grizzly Bear Sims Dodge that we used on Taswell is because I am trying to keep things somewhat unique, and so I don't think they'd be driving around a Dodge um, maybe in Belgium or at least not that, or ha uh, New the Netherlands. Um, something that big but anyway uh, let's go ahead and head over to our production facilities here now we have quite a bit of production going on uh, as I did mention we'll do a little bit at the BGA but we're going to do BGA work uh, a little different we're going to kind of do it the Grizzly Bear Sims way uh, we're not going to use the um, uh, the silage bunkers just because and these are fantastic by the way there's there's quite there's four of them I believe um, and they are quite cool and everything but we did this concept so much in farm sim 15 that um, well where there's a will there's a way so this is a modded version of the Grimmy um, 
uh, hopper that you can dump into. I believe I used this in the end of Law Folds. I believe I remember having this set up in Law Folds where we essentially can dump, we can back up our tipper here and then it'll dump into that conveyor and carry that up to the sell point there. And so um, where we will be making our um, our silage will be right down here again at our production facilities and so we'll just ease out of here and ease over to here so this was just an empty grass field that I put some production facilities into to um, to have some fun so here we have our compost station and I suppose I had so much fun using the compost station there on mid um, Midtown USA uh, it's kind of going the Farmer Klein storyline that I decided to place this in here. So we'll have some compost that we'll be uh, putting in here, probably some excess straw, uh, maybe some wood chips, etc. And that will go there. We are producing our own uh, biodiesel. Uh, so everything that we are running, all of our equipment will run on the biodiesel that we get here. Uh, the interesting thing about this placeable mod is this right here outputs total mix rations. Um, so we'll get the benefit of some TMR out of this tank which we'll use to feed our cows and then the other component obviously we get diesel out of this and then the other component that we get out of this is, um, is uh, liquid slurry I believe I think that's what we get so anyway um, that is that and here is where we're going to be producing our silage for the BGA um, you've seen this on, um, I installed this on Thornton Farm, it's just a placeable um, silage silo because these are so much easier to utilize so we'll have some grass or some chaff or something that we'll, that we'll dump in there and of course I was using my, my trusty little um, uh, wheel uh, device, can't, uh, the roller, uh, to paint in all of this gravel and everything just to make sure that we wouldn't get our vehicle stuck back here so this will be cool we'll spend some time working uh, working back here working the production we've got a, uh, a lot we've got the t7 New Holland here I've never used that before and we've got another John Deere wool loader where we'll be using that to uh, uh, do some of the compost out of there and now whether or not we use compost to actually spread onto the fields as fertilizer that is uh, maybe yet to be determined um, we, we have that uh, uh, ability to do that if we want to. This field here is ours uh, just to the left so that's kind of uh, if we bring up the larger map again you can kind of see that we're just kind of skirting around um, the farm area there uh, with production facilities on our right and then our fields that we own over there to the left. So coming up right here is our um, garden center. Now on the original version of this map that was released for Farm Sim 17, he had a compost facility here, which he removed. Again, for some reason, I'm not sure why, why he removed that facility. Um, maybe there was a problem with it or whatever, don't know. Uh, it was placed right back here. But in any event, um, we have our placeable and that we've placed there, so we're just going to leave this untouched. Um, we will bring our pellets. Uh, they're going to be selling our pellets for us. Uh, here, so they're gonna. Um, we've got a little uh, kiosk or a little stand set up here. We'll hire a, a teenager or something to set out there and sell those pellets for us once we start producing them. Uh, so that'll be that'll be kind of cool. Um, so we're gonna head back over this direction uh, here, back over towards our our farm, and kind of conclude this episode. Let me look and see. We're about 25 minutes into this episode. Uh, let's see if I can remember how to get back to the main farm going kind of the back way. Um, but we own we own fields on both sides of this uh, road, so 16 and 18, uh, as I drive really, really terrible. Come on, Jerry, get with the program. This truck, uh, this truck does move, by the way. It, it goes in excess of 60-some-odd, 70 miles an hour, I guess. Um, so we've got a sell point here. We'll be doing a lot of contract work and selling some stuff for with them. Um, that's a nice, handy, convenient sell point for sure. Um, this is backing up to our uh, dairy pastures and everything there. And we own 27 to the right there. And this is a fuel station, which we won't be doing much business with simply since we're going to be making our own 
uh, our own uh, biodiesel so that'll be cool and I know I went the wrong way on that street but that's okay I've got traffic turned off because my sanity so let's look at this right quick I just noticed this I think this is a if I'm not mistaken this is the continuation of our grass field so driving out across here like this I believe yeah this kind of wraps around and you can see back over there there's our hay barn and there's our our pellet production facility so not going to do a lot of driving out there on the grass we don't want to uh, we don't want to ruin um, the grass um, there so just to kind of wrap things up um, again looking forward to having the opportunity to use the water trough um, um, mod uh, the the prefab that I installed with Giants editor uh, spent maybe about two hours getting that done now we've got water um, obviously we've got uh, water running around here we've got a water pump that you now if you can get water out of the creek it's free uh, the water out of the pump station here does cost money which you know you would expect that there's some electricity and everything to power that uh, power that pump um, but in addition um, the water does also cost um, out of the the mod uh, so the, the prefab mod, the, the water facility and everything, that does cost some money, um, but it's going to be just so convenient to have that because, um, well, you know, it just is a little bit of a pain in the rear end, I suppose to say, uh, to haul the trailers and everything around and to kind of have to do that. So we'll be able to basically walk up to the faucet and, and turn the handle and be able to pump water directly to our animals. And that will be very, very cool to be able to do that. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I realized that this episode was really an episode about nothing, uh, almost, but at the same time, it hopefully it will kind of give you an idea as to what you can expect to see again um, maybe not a whole lot of uh, typical farming uh, that's going to be done uh, we'll be doing getting the workers started getting them um, pl more plowing more fertilization more seeding cultivating that those kind of tasks um, those guys will get done we're going to be working uh, kind of getting started off uh, working in the uh, uh, in the production facilities just to get us some cash coming in because the first the first load of seeds and everything that it's going to take to fill up the cedars we have not bought and paid for that so that's going to come out of the 25,000 that we have there um, and so uh, you know I was saying in an episode previous episode before that one of the only uh, well in, in farm sim 17 the only steam achievements that I have not won is the three-pointer Never even tried it. Never even tried to, to, to score a three-point uh, shot in the, with the basketball. And the second one is not going bankrupt. So um, we're going to try not to go bankrupt. I don't want to just achieve that achievement just for the heck of it. Um, but, you know, as we start to deplenish the 25000 we will bring a bank loan in if we need to. We've got a good, uh, good relations with the bank. And so we're going to be uh, playing it this way. And we'll, you know, we'll get some money coming in fairly quick because, again, uh, we've got the compost. We can sell the compost at the, uh, at the green or at the uh, feed store that I just showed you. And, um, and so lots of fun stuff to do. All right. So without further ado, folks, as I always say in all of my episodes, and it really looks like it's going to rain here, um, please take good care of yourselves and also take good care of each other. Take care of the animals in your lives um, as well. They need us more than uh, we can imagine. And, um, and please come back. I'm really looking forward to bringing you this series. Um, in this series, you'll, you'll, you'll be watching this series a couple of episodes per week. Um, Midtown USA is done. We wrapped that up yesterday. And then uh, Taswell only has probably a couple of more episodes, and that series will be done. And we'll be focusing our energy right here on Green River. Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I will um, see you all very, very soon. Take good care of yourself. Bye-bye.